Trump says he has the authority to reopen the economy, but the governors of Maryland and Virginia might have a different view. May Bondak Ramos reports in Washington, D.C. Thank you, Anna. Before I give you the details of my report, let me update you first with the current number of COVID-19 cases here in the DMV area, that is Washington, D.C., Maryland, and Virginia. The total number of confirmed cases surged to 16,638 today. In Washington, D.C., the cases are steadily increasing with 1,955 and 52 two people have lost their lives. Maryland has set up a government website to include numbers by zip code to easily know where the hard hit areas are. Since the positive cases reached to 8,936 with 262 fatalities. Virginia, on the other hand, has 5,047 5,747 recorded cases and 149 deaths. See, Anna, just earlier today, President Donald J. Trump stated that reopening the economy is a decision of the president and not of the governors of each state. President Trump tweeted, as I quote, it is the decision of the president and for many good reasons. With that being said, the administration and I are working closely with the governors, and this will continue. A decision by me in conjunction with the governors and input from others will be made shortly, unquote. The governors of the states disagree with the president on who makes the decision of reopening the economy, especially when it relates to their home state. Maryland Governor Hogan told CNN's Anderson Cooper in an interview that governors are the ones who would decide when to reopen their states. In Virginia, during his regularly scheduled press conference, not paying attention to what President Trump was saying, Governor Northam said, as I quote, as of right now, we are looking at our peak being in the latter part of April, early part of May. So we will extend that order for people to not go into businesses like that, that those businesses will be closed, unquote. The debate between the president and the governors as to who has the ultimate authority to reopen the economy might not be easily resolved. But it's clear that what's on people's minds, especially our elected officials, is how and when we can get back to work and reopen the economy. The specifics and time frame have yet to be provided by the White House. Mm -hmm. Speaking about reopening the economy, let us listen to what President Trump said on his April 10 press conference. Well, I think the economy is going to do very well. Now, that's just my feeling. It's a strong feeling. I've had good, proper feelings about a lot of things over the years, and I think we're going to do well. Uh, we're doing very, it looks like we're uh, at the lower end of the curb in terms of death, which is a terrible word, a terrible dark word that we've experienced like nobody's ever seen before in this country. I mean, we're... we're so it is indeed a strong feeling. In line with this, the president also mentioned that he is forming another task force to deal with the economy. Though no official name was given, he mentioned that the task force could be called the Opening Our Country Task Force or Opening Our Country Council. Well, all of us are eager for the economy to reopen, for businesses to reopen, and for everyone to get back to work. You know, everybody wants the economy to succeed. Hopefully, the president and the governors of each state, and with the input and advice of our nation's health officials, can work together and come up with a plan that would allow us all to safely return to work and for us to patronize our favorite restaurants and businesses. President Trump also said on April 10th in his press conference, as I quote, I have a big decision coming up, and I only hope to God that it's the right decision, but it'll be based on the input a lot of very talented people, very smart people, and people that love our country, unquote. This is indeed one of the biggest decisions that the president has to make during his tenure. Let's hope he makes the correct one. In Washington, D.C., May Bondok Ramos, Eagle News, 
we live in interesting times.